All right, everybody, I am back with a brand new movie and TV show update. And this is going to be a monster size update because it has been a while. And I wanted to make sure I got all of it out in one video. So I appreciate everybody who has been watching these outside of my DC updates. These seem to be pretty popular. And so I would appreciate it if you like the video, if you can subscribe and hit that notification bell, it helps out my channel and let other people know as well. I hope I could bring you guys information you may not know about and stuff that may be hard to find that is interesting. And I have a lot to jump into today. But real quick, the writer strike is over for people who haven't heard. That doesn't mean that the strike is completely over, though, because we still have the right or the actors on strike as well. And the video game segment of the industry may be joining in and they haven't even begun discussions yet. And so they do expect that to trail on into early next year unless the studios come in and cave to the demands of the actors. So things can still not go into production, but they can sure write a bunch of stuff and get stuff ready. And they better have some killer stories with all the extra time they have to develop these TV shows and movies. But let's get started into these photos. All right, for those who didn't know, Andor Season 1, The Book of Bo uh, Boba Fett Season 1, and The Mandalorian Season 3 are reportedly going to be hitting Blu-ray, 4K, and DVD next year. I'm a big proponent of physical media, and they are releasing the first two seasons of The Mandalorian this Christmas, as well as, I can't remember the other show, I believe it's a couple of Marvel shows, but I am picking up Boba Fett Season 1 and 2, and I'm looking forward to getting those on 4K when they do get released in, uh, in uh, December, as a matter of fact. But it looks like these other show shows are going to be coming. Disney is going to be capitalizing because they are struggling. They're going to be capitalizing on releasing some of this stuff for home media so that people can buy it. Uh, so definitely jump at the chance to pick those up. Prey, uh, the uh, newest Predator movie, also got released and hit stores today. So some good news when it comes to physical media. All right, now for those who didn't know, there is a show on, uh, I don't know why it says Amazon Prime. It's not on Amazon Prime. It is on Peacock. And it is a three-part miniseries. I am going to have a review on this tomorrow. And so uh, the first two episodes, it is a three-part miniseries. The first two mini-movies have been released, and I'm going to do a, be doing a review on those tomorrow. So look for that. But this has one more episode this week. And for those who haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. It is very interesting. All right, so Zack Snyder has his Rebel Moon coming out very soon in just a few short months. And it says, according, according to Google Trends, Rebel Moon had the biggest te teaser trailer launch for a Netflix original movie in the company's history. So congratulations to Zack Snyder. I am very much looking forward to Rebel Moon. That should be an amazing movie when it comes out. I'm very much looking forward to it. Now, this is something that keeps getting recirculated every couple of years, but it says, as the X-Files turns 30, here's everything we know so far about the planned reboot. New X-File series is on the way, and Black Panther's Ryan Coogler is behind it. So we'll see how, if this ever makes it to air. They have been talking about this for years. Uh, I do believe that the original showrunner, he said he has, has pretty much come up, he's out of ideas, and it is time to pass the torch. I do love that original series. It's one of my favorite series ever. And so I would definitely watch this in a heartbeat if it ever makes it to uh to screens. Now I've talked about the new Beetlejuice movie several times and here's another thing coming out of the movie. This is from Tim Burton himself. He said, I tried to strip everything and go back to the basics of working with good people and actors and puppets. Tim Burton said of the upcoming sequel, it was kind of like going back to why I liked making movies. Beetlejuice 2 was nearly finished prior to actor's strike. It is 99% done. I, this is another movie I am looking forward to. All right, now here's something interesting that comes from the Warner Brothers side of things. It says, recent comments from Warner Brothers Discovery CEO David Zaslav doesn't bode well for the future of Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings franchises. Uh, it looks like they're going to be milking both of these franchises to death and also licensing them out to possibly other streaming services. So you can look forward to more of these coming out soon. For people who don't know, there's a whole new Harry Potter TV show being developed where every season is going to be one of the books, which I personally think is completely unneeded. 
it's too soon, and uh, I don't think they should be milking the franchises like that. But Zaslav does not know the movie side of the business. Now, here's some bit of news that I was unaware of until I came across this, but it says, Barbie has obviously left a mark about a character in a fictional world who comes to self-awareness. Free Guy 2 is being altered because of Barbie's success. Uh, that'll be interesting to see. I really liked the first movie a lot. I thought it was a good balance between male and female and had some really good funny moments in it. Hopefully the sequel is not ruined because they decided to tinker with it just because of the success of Barbie. This is pretty cool if this does happen. The Gremlins 3 script is complete and could see the movie in the near and we could see the movie in the near future. Gremlins 3, a true sequel to the original 2. Now, for those who don't know, there is an animated series that is supposedly really good, and I have not watched it yet, but it is streaming on Max. So go check that out. It is pretty popular, actually. Also, for those who didn't know, we are getting a Gladiator 2 from Ridley Scott, but this is not going to star... Uh, I don't even know if these people are actually in this movie. I don't know if this is a real poster, but I do know that this movie is coming, and Russell Crowe is not supposed to be a part of it. So we will see. You know, I don't even know if this started filming or not, but it is definitely coming. All right, so Brightburn. Who out there has seen Brightburn? My wife and I actually went to the theaters to see it. We enjoyed the movie. I didn't think it was anything amazing, but it was an entertaining film. Apparently, Brightburn 2 is on the horizon. And guess who's writing it? Yes, AI. So it is. it says Brightburn 2 is in development and will be completely written by AI. If this happens, my wife and I have already committed to skipping it and not giving Hollywood our money for anything that has been developed by AI. Uh, we are not going to feed into that machine personally, but everybody has free reign to do what they wish. I would rather see a real person write the sequel rather than AI. All right, so here's an update on possibly, you know, having a Rambo 6 film. Uh, I don't think they should do one, but Sylvester Stallone gives an honest update about the possi possibility of his return to the Rambo franchise, joking, what am I fighting, arthritis? So that's an update from Sylvester Stallone himself. Now, the last film I thought was pretty good, but it was a little forgettable. The film before it was, I think, the best Rambo film, and then I did enjoy the first two. The third was okay. The fourth was amazing. The fifth was pretty good. So here's another movie that is going to begin filming as soon as the writer strike is over. There is a Lethal Weapon 5. I know that people have been asking me to talk about this film, but there hasn't been really anything to talk about other than that it is coming soon. So I did want to include this in my update, and I know that Mel Gibson uh, is scheduled to come back, which will be surprising. Uh, it'll be interesting to see them all them all reunited once again. I honestly have not seen Lethal Weapon 3 or 4. <laughs> I own the films, but i got to go back and watch those. I did like the first and the second one quite a bit, but I never saw the third, and I definitely have not seen the fourth film. Hey, guys, here's just a random picture of my dog. She's a sweetheart. Uh, she's my best friend. Here she is, uh, all ladylike, sitting on the couch, always by a ball. All right, so as you guys know, John Wick is a very popular franchise. And the fourth film is, I think, one of the best action films ever made. And the news came out that Keanu Reeves begged for John Wick to be killed off in the fourth movie, which he was, but they are leaving room for his return. If you've seen the end of it, I do believe he will be back. But he begged for him to be completely killed off entirely. But I don't think the studio is going to let that go. I do think they will be bringing him back for a fifth film. They do plan on more movies in the universe, not necessarily with Keanu Reeves currently, but I do believe a true sequel will be coming at some point in the future. Now, for those who didn't know, if you are a DC fan and you like Doom Patrol, the rest of the ep episodes for that final season are going to start airing on October 12th on the Max streaming service. In an interesting bit of news, Warner Brothers Discovery did announce recently that they are expanding their sound stages to a total. Well, they're gonna they're gonna be building ten new sound stages in Levinston, uh, and it's gonna boost production by fifty percent. So this is gonna be happening over in Europe, so that Warner Brothers can make all of their upcoming DC films. 
but we'll see. <laughs> I still don't know who's investing in this company, but there's things that they are planning on doing to grow their business, I guess, but we will see how that pans out here in the future. All right, guys, who is a fan of the movie, the movie Crawl from the 1980s? It looks like J.J. Abrams is reportedly rebooting that cult sci-fi classic. And it is a classic. James Horner actually did the music for that. I collect James Horner scores. And uh, I did enjoy that movie from the 80s. It would be interesting to see a more modern update to it. But some things are better left alone. But that's apparently what J.J. Abrams is, is looking into at this point. All right, here's some news on a new Spawn movie. Todd McFarlane says Spawn film script is near the finish line, but on hold during the WGA strike, which is now over. So it looks like they may be getting closer to finishing that and possibly filming a brand new Spawn film. Now here's a bit of news that came as a big surprise. A reboot of The Office is in the works, report says. They ask the question, yay or nay? I personally say nay. It says it is unclear if Steve Carell, John Krasinski, Jenna Fisher, Mindy Kaling, and Rain Wilson, if they would be in this film or in this show. I don't think it will be. They said it is going to be done by the same people who wrote and created The Office, but will be set in the, in the same world, but not in that particular office. So it would probably be another branch with a brand new cast of characters. This is one of my favorite comedies of all time. Uh, I would watch it if it came on, but I really love that original show. I actually just burned through all of it this year, and I look forward to watching it again at some point in the future. But it is a funny, funny show. I'm not sure about a reboot, though. Uh, it'd be hard to replicate that kind of success. All right, so here's some crazy news about the next James Bond film, and I think this would be amazing. It says, Christopher Nolan is reportedly in talks to direct the upcoming James Bond film, and apparently... If the news reports are correct, it would go beyond the next film for multiple films. The director intended to make a trilogy in the purest style of what he did with The Dark Knight. If we add to this the rumor suggesting Henry Cavill will be the next 007 agent, the result could be one of the highest grossing films ever. This would be a huge slap in the face for Warner Brothers. I would be all game for this. I think it would be amazing if we got a 007 movie starring Henry Cavill directed by Christopher Nolan. That would be off the charts amazing and would be a huge, huge hit. Uh, these studios know what to do from the uh, leftovers of what Warner Brothers threw away. So this is something to look for in the future. All right, so there's my TV show and movie news update for right now. I do appreciate the support. If you guys haven't already, again, please like the video, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, and you will be notified as I have new videos go up. I will be having the Ahsoka season finale review coming up as soon as this it airs here in about an hour, and I will watch it and get my review up as quickly as possible. And then tomorrow, I will have the Continental Episode 1 and 2 reviews coming. So if you stick to my channel, plenty of things to dig into. I do appreciate the support. We will see you on the next video.